Okay, today we're going to work on this clock. 12 bucks, 11.99. When I first pick these up, I usually will wrap the chain around it just because I don't want dangling around everywhere. And this is kind of how you should store them too. This helps hold the chain onto the gears so they don't fall off. Now to remove the chain or to put a new one on, no matter what, you have the hook, you need to take that off, take them off on both, both of them, and you'll have the ring on the end. The ring, take it off too, because no matter whether it's a brand new chain or what, you have to take it off to put the put it back on a lot easier. So all you have to do is find which end is opened on the chain, bend it up a little bit to where you can pull that ring off of there. Have little dishes to the side. I go ahead and take this little piece of chain off and I save it because why throw it away? That's what you're going to rehook it with. Now this is going to be a little more difficult getting the ones off that are in here because they're too close. Normally I'll turn turn the hands and get the cuckoo part of it working to pull the chain down and also the uh, ticker you just leave the pendulum off pull on it let it tick down don't pull too crazy this one here I see already has been stretched I don't know if you can see that or not but it, it is opened in there and I could probably just take this off just the way it is. Let me grab a hold of this and see if it'll just slide right off of there. There we go. So that's one chain off. So that means turn it around and pull it on through. Okay. Here's our first chain. And you want to kind of examine it a little bit because like I say when these clocks start to not tick people will start pulling on the weights adding more weight to it to force that chain through to give the clock the power can't believe this chain actually looks pretty good and if you wanted to you can take these chains and put them in that cleaning solution that I have for clocks and you can make them shine too but like I say there's a lot of people that want to keep that antique look to it the brand new chains this is an eight day but doesn't matter they come nice and shiny and you can pay extra money to get that antique look So let me get this other chain off of here. There you go. Listening to the motor run in there, it sounds like a it's kind of dry so as you can see here it was a knot already so and then they wound that up inside the darn clock but for twelve dollars realistically I hate to say it but it's still not a bad price this is just a regular cuckoo clock it doesn't have the music in it so I consider it not as valuable. 
Okay, so right there the, that twisted up knot fell out. So let's go ahead and pull this one the rest of the way through. Which I don't know if you can see in there or not. And it's out. And a little bit later in the video, I'll show how to put these chains back in there. There's two ways of doing it. You do whatever's easiest for you. Good Lord, I got a bunch of these laying all over the place, just falling off the chain. So that tells me that that chain was probably pulled pretty tight to make him cuckoo faster or make him cuckoo all together. And oh, by the way, I did want to mention this here clock works. I'm going to guess it's vintage. Let me show you here. Here's the hook that goes to this clock. And you notice it's got the small area to be able to hook a weight to. That means you need a vintage weight to go on here. Or if you end up with some new weights, because like this clock didn't come with weights, and you end up with a newer version of the weights, you'll have to get a newer hook too. Which, let me show you in a second here. Okay. This is vintage, how tight it is. This here is one of the newer weights, or newer hooks, that can take the full one mold uh, weight. Now remember, take a look at your chain too. Hold up to the light and take a look at it. Because this is what could cause your... Uh, this is what could cause your clock to be jerking around. You gotta make sure it's not all rusted up. Make sure it's nice and limber. Make sure that someone had been pulling these. And you can tell if these have been pulled real hard because these loops in the chain will be smaller. And you, you can just tell they're just kind of squished together and they won't be that loose. So examine your chain because like I say, there's a chance you might need new chains, which isn't uncommon, especially for a lot of people don't know how you're supposed to operate a cuckoo clock. These hooks. Like I say, this clock didn't come with any. And I used to shop on eBay a lot and sometimes you can get a deal sometimes you can't but this here is the vintage weight you see the wire they dropped it into the what is this cast iron the weight as it was cooling and that's how it's made so that way this small hook can go in there real easily By the way, these are the more modern weights. You can see how it's poured all at once compared to the vintage ones that have got the wire in there. And the modern ones normally have a number on here. That's the weight. This says a 275 on it. This vintage one, I don't see numbers on it. But if you're really worried about it, if you happen to have only one weight, take a scale and weigh it, and that'll tell you pretty close to what that clock could use. And I'm gonna show you how to install the chain with it outside the box. So what you want to do is have your chain 
so you don't have an end on it on either end what you need is a small screwdriver or something see which way this thing will wind you see how it's going in that direction that means I want to set this chain across those gears like this now it's holding on and in here you have to watch this thing slowly turn it but keep as you're turning keep turning this works because otherwise it's going to go down inside those gears and get all tangled up you have to start over again I'm going to go ahead and use a screwdriver to turn this thing be careful that it don't get carried away a couple clicks at a time and here I got it coming through now I can go ahead and pull this thing through and you pull it oh sorry about that you pull it about halfway which is the best now the deal about this is is it can fall off when you're trying to install the other one so you either gotta pay attention to it or whatever I guess practice makes perfect this in here it's going the same direction so let me put this other one in here set it down there I guess how you gotta turn this thing as you're putting it on sorry it's kind of hard to show you I don't know if you can see that in there or not but already the chains come through so go ahead and hold these two together and get make it 50 50 again So here, <coughs> excuse me, you can see I wasn't careful and it fell off. So realistically for me, it's easier just to take this whole thing off again and start over. It's going that way because of the way I'm holding it. It started on there. Start bringing it around. I got it. Oops, I just dropped it. We're still on. Keeping it snug this time. Get it on about 50%, 50-50. Okay, we got both of them on there. So now what you do, is you get your clock, pull this back a little bit. So now what you do is you take your chains and they get tangled up easily, so just kind of be careful. I'm going to go ahead and use that hole in the clock where you hang it up. So now what you do is you get the end of your chain. I'm doing this side first. And I'm going to push it through the first hole. I have a pair of pliers here to try to grab it. Unless you're good at pushing things through the hole. It's on there, bring it kind of snug, and go to your very next one. And do the same thing. Get your second hole that's over to the left.
Okay, there we have two of them. Don't be letting this thing wind around if you can help it. But don't worry because I'm going to show you how I do it a different way. Which to me is a little bit easier because you don't have to worry about all this chain being in the way and that kind of stuff. Here we got our third chain and now our last chain which is on the outside. Obviously you should be in your fourth hole counting from the left to the right. Okay, all my chains are hooked up. Now before I forget, I'm going to put this cuckoo bird on there. And I'm not going to make it tight. I just want them on there because it's easier to get them on now and then adjust it later. Now what you want to do, let the chains slide down. Let's see, we had a wire here. Yep, it came off. Need to get it down and underneath there so the clock's working right. Bring it down in here and set it in the hole. Now we're not going to touch it per se. What we're planning on doing now is getting the screws in. <coughs> Excuse me. And once we have the screws in, we will. I'll show you what to do with these chains so you can finish it up without it falling off too too easily. Okay, we're back. We have the chains in. The works is in. Now what I do, keep these all snug, take them and wrap them around like this. Don't worry about the chains getting tangled up, you can deal with that later. You don't want the chains to fall off from them works. But now, let me undo this. And I'm going to show you how to do this. Pull these weights out of the way and whatnot. Okay, I have one here. Get them all untangled. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to accidentally pull this chain out. Well, I'm hoping I can accidentally pull it out. There we go. Okay, now this is how I usually install these after the works is in. Here again, take your screwdriver. You need a longer one than what I got here. But, uh, or take your finger, I don't care. See which way that thing turns. It's turning this way. And so... What you want to do, that means you want the end hole, the one to the right, this is gonna, the chain's going to come around and then go back through the number three hole, one, two, three hole. So that's why right now we just want to get the chain started. Let me hook up this chain like I've shown you on the other one so I don't lose this one. There's just out of the way.
Once you get this far, again, do the 50-50 thing. Just so you can wrap it around to keep these chains tight in here so they don't fall off. Okay, to finish up the weights, you want to take the two outer ones and see which one winds the clock. Pulling it down, that means that this one, as I'm pulling out, will need the ring on it. So it's a stop for when the weight pulls it all through. Which I've already got a piece of chain on my ring. Be kind of careful with this. You don't want to crush it flat. You want those chains to meet. It'd be kind of level looking. Let me touch this up a little bit more for you. So here I got the ring on. Let's wind this up a little bit more so I can show it to you. I got the ring on and it doesn't look bad. Check for the openings in the this chain too because if someone's been pulling on it, most of those will be opened. And also you'll notice if you wind up your clock and the weights spin as you're winding it up, that tells you the chain's been stretched out of shape. So anyway, on this other, other one, right next to the one that we just put the ring on, now obviously you want to put the hook. I have a piece of chain here that I saved. this hook in there and carefully try to stick it back together again now these like I say I didn't run through the cleaners so it's still got the old-fashioned look to it So I got this one done, let's just set it over here to the side, now onto this one, so I'm pulling on this one, so that means the one that's coming out as I'm winding it will take the ring.